I've been drawing and painting all my life, and I was encouraged as a child by my mother who went to the Parsons School in New York to study fashion design. But she pretty much encouraged me just to do it as a hobby and not to try to make a living from art. So I did it as a hobby for many, many years. Then when it got, came time to retire, I started thinking about what I wanted to do with myself in my retirement years. And I thought about all the things that I had learned to do throughout my life. Play the piano, play the guitar, fly a plane, scuba dive, and sail, and paint, of course. And I thought, what is the one thing that I really enjoy the most? And it was painting. So I decided that when I retired, I would become a full-time painter, and I've been painting ever since. I've painted with watercolor and acrylic, but when I was introduced to pastels, I pretty much fell in love with them. I love all of these colors. I love just looking at my pastel colors on the table. And I love the way you apply them without a brush. So it's an immediate contact. You know, a lot of people are not familiar with pastels and I've heard people refer to them as chalk. Well, they're not chalk. They don't have any chalk in them. They're made with the same um, pigments as watercolors and acrylics and oils. They just have a different binder. These are just some of my pastel sticks. Um, with pastels, you don't mix colors like you do with other paints. So you just have to have pretty much one of every color. These are only some of the ones that I have, but they're kind of addictive because they're so beautiful. You just have to have that set of those colors or this set of these colors. Pastels can be a drawing medium, but they can also be a painting medium. And my works are not drawings. They're definitely paintings. I use a sanded paper and I love the way the pastel just grabs onto the paper when you put a mark on it. It just grabs these little particles and the particles are somewhat reflective so that, and I do even have some that are um, kind of iridescent so the particles will sparkle in the light. So it's very much tactile medium. You can make lines, you can make strokes of all different types. I don't know, it's just a lot of fun. This is one of the things I love about pastels is how bright the colors are and how when they hit the paper, they really, really kind of glow from that paper. I've been very fortunate to be able to indulge in one of my passions, which is traveling. Most of my works are really inspired by my travels around the world. I've been to a lot of different places in the world. I've been sailing in Croatia. I've been sailing in the British Virgin Islands. I just went to Alaska this summer. I'm going to Africa next year. I've done biking in um, Italy and Slovenia, and I just love the colors that I've seen in all of these places, and I try to incorporate them into my palette. I always strive to become a more abstract painter. You can see this is quite an abstract piece. I do landscapes and figurative and very abstract pieces. I'd like to be able to welcome you to the tour at the Kling Gallery. I'm going to be sharing a space with Chris Kling at her gallery and I hope you'll come in and see my work and how I do it. And I'm Lynn Morgan and I create contemporary pastel paintings.